because it's no fun when your spirit is undone. Unraveling down the hole in the barrel of a shotgun. You got to thinking you're better than me. Look inside yourself and what do you see? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of It's Not Political. We are in the field dead. Guys, what's going on? Hope you've been having a great day, great time, wherever you are. You're pursuing your dreams. This channel helps you think outside of the box, challenge all of everything that's going on and make you think for yourself. So what do we have up? We got more coverage of what's going on with Trump because y'all already know. They out here wilding out, but I'm happy to hear what this is about. Breaking news. Shock in to day one of Trump's trial. Expo claims judge ruled 80% of case over. How you like me now? Let's go. I, I mean, you know, justice, the truth shall set you free. And in the world that we live in, is still governed by God Almighty. Truth, justice will prevail. I just believe it. I think that was very good. That last five minutes was outstanding because the judge essentially conceded that the statute of limitations that uh, we won at the Court of Appeals is in effect. Therefore, about 80 percent of the case is over. Uh, I was going to come out and say that, as you know, we're not entitled to a jury, which is pretty unusual in the United States of America. So. Uh, I think it's very unfair that I don't have a jury, but uh, the judge's last statement was very fair. And if I read it right, I'll let perhaps one of the lawyers speak to it. But Cliff, maybe you'll speak to it if you would. But uh, the way I interpret that and the way everyone else in the room seems to interpret that is that the statute of limitations uh, is a very real thing in this country. And that would be about 80 percent of this case would be over. Uh, could somebody speak to that, please? Based on the judge's comments at the end of the hearing, at the end of the trial today, it would appear that he is agreeing that all of the transactions that closed prior to 2014 are now out of the case. Mm -hmm. Which is about 80 percent of the case. Mm -hmm. And it's also uh, something that we won on appeal, but was not accepted by this court, but now seems to be accepted by this court. Uh, as far as the jury is concerned, uh, it's much different now. I must tell you that it was 20 minutes ago. We were going to come out and complain that, you know, in this country, you're entitled to a jury. But we very much appreciate the judge's decision today, or his statement today, on statute of limitations, which is a very big thing. It's a limited time period. And we did nothing wrong. And if you look at the statements, they show that even in 2011, I guess the number was $258 million in cash. Uh, very strong company. I don't believe we really, maybe I wouldn't do a couple of deals or something, but I wouldn't have even needed to go to banks. Banks loved our business. They loved our deals. They weren't defrauded. They lost no money. They made money. They had the finest attorneys that there are. Frankly, their attorneys were better than my attorneys. And uh, they made a lot of money, and they considered me a very good client. I paid them back on time, on schedule. There was no default. They never even sent me a default letter. Not one. For years, never got a default letter. And there's no case here. There's no victim. The banks aren't a victim. The insurance companies are a victim. Everybody got paid. It's a terrible, terrible thing. This was for politics. Now, it has been very successful for them because they took me off the campaign trail. Because I've been sitting in a courthouse all day long. Instead of being in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, or a lot of other places I could be at. This is a horrible situation for our country. It's never happened before. It's election interference. They're interfering yes. with the presidential Completely. election of 2024. Yeah. And the people of our country see it. But this was a big, big, uh, I, I say surprise, but it was a great credit to the court that the judge was willing to do this. He sort of overruled himself. And I greatly respect that. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we may. 
I mean, I'd love not to. I'd love to be campaigning instead of doing this. Right. Because we felt I built a That's great company. Thing. That's one thing people Watch are seeing it. all the way back to 2011. And today, it's much bigger and much better and even much more liquid. That was $258 million for a real estate development. That's a lot of money. That was in 2011. Today, it's much more than that. Much, much more. I built a great company and did great things for New York, and they should respect that. I've employed thousands and thousands of people in New York, and they should respect that. The Attorney General of this state is a disgrace. Letitia James is a disgrace. She's a disgrace to our country and to the state of New York. She should focus on all of the violent crime and the murders going on in New York, not on somebody okay. that paid back the banks in full without a default and in many cases paid him back early. Thank you very much, everybody. So not only has he been proven, or is it's been proven to show that his business dealings were legit. His, I mean, just think about how things were before he even got into office. He was a business person. How his business dealings and stuff were, you know, they tried to say many things even before then, but nothing ever came back. So what, what a great way to thwart his campaigning by wackness like this. And that's why when you do right, you do what's right. You do right by people. It comes back to you and you have, you don't have anything to hide. You, it's all right there. So I'm so glad this worked out for him. I'm so glad that the truth has been revealed, that the things that was suggested, implied, the indictments are over, over, over. Let's go, Trump. Trump 2024. Guys, thank you so much for hopping on. If this content is bringing you value if you're enjoying it and you want to see more of this or even different things in the areas of what i have on my channel for music politics lifestyle drop some comments in the comments section and let me know turn on the notification bell so every time i drop a video you will get it and you'll be the first one to see it appreciate you guys i love you and i'll see you on the next video yeah.